down and make a change for the people. I know exactly who I am and where I came from. Right. Well, the 2022 drama Alice starts off with inspired by true events. Yeah, sure. I would like to know in what alternate part of the multiverse did writer and director Kristen Verlinden believe that this was an actual thing. The story of the movie is Alice, Kiki Palmer, yearns for freedom as an enslaved person on a rural Georgia plantation under its brutal and disturbed owner Paul, Johnny Lee Miller. After a violent clash with Paul, she flees through the neighboring woods and stumbles onto the unfamiliar site of a highway. Soon discovering the year is actually 1973. Rescued on the roadside by a disillusioned political activist named Frank Common, Alice quickly comprehends the lies that have kept her in bondage and the promise of black liberation. Inspired by true events, Alice is a modern empowerment story tracing Alice's journey through the post-civil rights era American South, if you like my review please subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon, thanks you. So, if it was the slavery part with the white plantation owner part that was based on true events, then I could buy into it. But if it was the actual story here, then no. Just no. Well, I will give writer and director Kristen Verlinden points for creativity, despite the fact that the whole concept of the storyline was just ludicrous beyond belief. But yeah, the movie made for adequate entertainment. If you could get past how downright stupid the storyline concept actually is, of all the people participating in this movie, I was familiar with only two actors, and that was Johnny Lee Miller and Gage Charles. It should be said, though, that the acting performances in the movie were good, despite of the storyline being quite far out there. Alice is not a movie that made a particular huge splash upon its arrival, nor is it a movie that I will taking along with me and think about come next week. This is the type of movie that you watch once, should you happen to stumble upon the movie, and then never return to watch it a second time. Then again, the storyline just doesn't have enough proper contents to it to support more than just a single viewing. This 2022 movie is a strange hybrid between an archetypical slavery story mixed with black exploitation. A very strange combination actually, if you ask me, my rating of Alice lands on a 4 out of 10 stars. Thanks for watching, take care.